Alright, so I'm going to show you how I'm doing the ring part of the napkin rings. And what they look like is this. They're actually clipped right now, drying with some glue holding them together. So hopefully those will do okay and I'll show you what I've done here. It, okay, so I took a ruler and marked off by just lining this up on my mat here and I marked off at a half inch size and I took a pencil and drew my line and so now I'm going to take my scissors and just cut along that line that I drew I'm just using regular everyday scissors. Uh, aluminum soda can cuts easily with regular scissors. And now I'm gonna bend this using my ruler. I'm gonna put the shiny side down and I'm gonna take this piece and you can see here I have like a quarter of an inch. Using my ruler, I am just gonna fold that piece using the ruler. So you can see I've got a start of a bend there and I'm just going to use my fingers to bend it down the rest of the way. And then I'm going to do the same thing with that fold and the extra piece that's sticking out. And I'm just going to hold that in place and bend along the ruler. That one didn't grab as much for me, so I'm going to do it again. Started to, down here at this end. I just didn't get all of it. So I'm pushing against my table and pushing on the back of the ruler. And then we're just going to fold that piece in half so that the metal overlaps. All right. Now you can put that down on your work surface with the ruler on top and give it a push. And that will help some getting it flattened out. But ultimately we're going to need our flat nosed pliers and the kind that you want are the jewelry making kind that don't have a bumpy tooth here, but actually have a smooth surface on both sides. And we're gonna take this and just work from either one end to the other or however you wanna do it. But you're just gonna pinch that together and just give it a slight twist. So you pinch and twist, pinch and twist, all the way along the piece of the aluminum. And I wanna be careful here that I don't go too far down because that is a wire cutter there. So I'm just going to slowly work my way around here and you can see that this is starting to bend into a curved piece. And so I just want to do that slow and I don't want to gain any buckles that are going to catch on my napkins. So I just kind of want to take this slow, get things flattened out here. You can see I'm going back over the areas I went already to give it a little bit more of a bend. Now this is the piece that goes around the napkin. So if it's not perfect, we're not gonna see it. It is a handmade piece and we are working with aluminum here. Now you could take this a step further if you wanted to go ahead and you know bang it with a hammer. 
um, you could adjust it. I'm just going to hold it here in its circular form and hopefully you can see here that there are some bumps and if I run my finger over that I can feel it. It's a little rough so I want to work on those pieces and get them to flatten out as much as I can. Ultimately we're just trying to get a smooth piece right in through there. Overlap that, see where I have to work on anything else. I'm going to add some over here. All right, now, once I'm happy with the shape, and this is aluminum, so you can continue, you know, to bend it. But once I'm happy with that, I am going to take a clip here and a little bit of E6000. And I'm just going to touch one end to the glue, just a small amount. And I'm going to put the other piece on top. And then when I clamp it, I'm going to clamp off to this side over here in case there's any excess glue here where my fingers are, where they're overlapping. Um, I just want to be able to grab both pieces. And then I'm just going to let this sit to dry. And then my next step is going to be to cut and color the leaf shapes that go on top of the rings themselves. Now, if you didn't want to bend your own rings, you could definitely buy rings. You could use a like a shower curtain ring. Um, I'm sure you could come up with a lot of other options, but this was um, a complete uh, kind of, I guess, recycle project by using all the bits um, that I'm making the napkin ring out of uh, with the soda can. So here are our rings, and you can see that they're not all perfect shape. In fact, this was my original one that I did. Um, and I hadn't measured the others. I had measured and used the scissors to cut, and that worked a whole lot better than this piece here that was just rough, and I needed to um, to bend it, and I wasn't really sure what size I was getting. So definitely the measuring, cutting with the pencil and a pair of scissors is a better way to go. And right now they're not, show you, they're not perfect circles. But once that glue attaches, um, I can bend them into a better circle. And also I'll be gluing the leaf form onto the top here, which will then um, glue this side of that band and hold it together. So I just want to, as these are drying, I just want to check with the clamps and make sure that they are not getting glued to my project. So you may want to check that a couple of times while they're drying. So, all right, I will be back. Hi, I just wanna show you my setup with the Crossover 2 machine. Um, my tripod is a little short and I can't get everything in camera, so I am just holding this. It's gonna be a little jiggly here. But there is my machine. I used a little bit of um, duct tape to hold the aluminum can down. And there I have my four leaf dies. I know one is getting in, yeah, there we go. Um, having a little glare from my lights. But there are all four pieces on one can. So let me put you back in to the tripod here. And you get a close up look here. So I have the top adjusted down 
and I'm just turning the handle and running the dies through the machine. And I am actually going to bring them back again only because that's um, in camera. And then you can see me take the sandwich apart. And there are my cut pieces. So here are the pieces that are cut out and I am just going to give them a little bit of alcohol here to clean them off. Just make sure that I've got everything that was sticky or dirty off the top surface. And the other thing I can do here is give it a really nice rub just to kind of straighten out some of those dents that are in the leaves. And the last thing I'm going to do here before I apply the ink are those stems are not really necessary for the napkin rings and I'm afraid that they may get in the way. Let's see. If I were to glue this on here, maybe always gluing the stem to be protected. Well, let's leave them for now. We can cut them off later. All right. So I have my four pieces here, and I have chosen my color palette of alcohol inks. And so what I have here is, um, okay, uh, the first one I can't see the color, but I thought, hmm, I don't want to give you the wrong name. Oh, uh, that doesn't say. It's from the Earth Tone set. Um, and I'm going to say it might be like a forest color, but I'm not positive. And then I've got lettuce, butterscotch, and ginger. And I'm not sure why this one just says bottle. So, I don't know. So, I'm going to just drop these on here. And just kind of let them do their thing. So I'm going to be building up layers of the ink, and some of these bottles are tight. Ooh, can't get the butterscotch to open, so I'll set that one aside. Maybe we'll come back to, probably should have checked all of these before I started. Now I may want to control these and move them around a bit. Make sure every little bit is getting covered here. So not cutting those stems off was kind of a good idea because I can use them to hold on to the leaves as I manipulate the ink around. So I 
need to get another color out. Let's see what caramel will do here. This one is opening, which is good. I am looking for, there we go, we have an alcohol paintbrush here that I can use to get the ink out to the edges. So basically I want to get the surface covered. And then we'll go for mixing. All right. So this thick ink right here I'm not real thrilled with, so I'm going to try to control and move that around. Here in my next application, but I want to get everything covered, and this might just look like a muddy mess to you right now, and that's okay. Just making sure everything is covered with ink. And then I'll go in and add some, let's do lettuce. Right there. And then I'm going to add back the caramel into the darker spots. And then before everything dries, I'm going to move it around. So you can see the ink travels over itself a whole lot easier once everything is covered. And if you choose colors that work together well, then you're not really making mud, although I'm working with some browns, so I guess that could be kind of questionable. Let's see if I can take some of the thickness off of here. And I may go back into this one with a little bit of green. This one has almost dried on me before I got to it. Alright, so this one I wanted a little more green. I want it to run 
into that brown some. I don't. Really want a half and a half leaf. But anyway, you can see how you can just play and play and play with these. Um, you can also spray with alcohol. those to move around. So I'm going to take the thickness off of some of these and then go back into them with some more ink. And I'm working on a plastic surface so I can clean it off. a little bit of brown in here. So I'm just taking off the thickest areas. All right. And I'm really liking, I don't know if you can see how they're, how they're doing. And then we can um, definitely curl them up. And I really love these. Alright, so I am going to let those sit for a little bit. We'll probably spray finish on them and then we will um, finish the backs off and then attach them. So just to show you, um, to spray a coating of protectant on the leaves, I first sprayed with this triple thick crystal clear glaze and then I finished it off with a coat of Kmar varnish. And now, um, just to give them a little bit more of a professional look, I'm going to turn them over where I can see the original soda can image, and I'm going to take a permanent black marker and just gently go over the back. And I'll do this to all four of the leaves, um, just to give it a more professional 
solid black look to the back and then I will um, give those a coat of spray as well just in case um, you're using these on your dining room table and somebody has um, you know some wine or an alcoholic beverage um, depending on the alcohol content in that drink spilled on your napkin rings the ink could come off because this is an alcohol based ink so I'm going to protect both sides of the leaves before I put them onto the napkin rings. Okay, I want to show you that the napkin rings are done and dry so I can remove the clips. And I may need to reshape them a little bit. That can always be done at any time. And then the leaves are done as well. So they have been um, sprayed with a protecting coat on both sides. And so now they're ready to be applied to the napkin rings. And what I'm going to do is put the stem along here and then wrap the leaf around like so. And then I will use the clips to hold them in place. And I'm going to apply them here with E6 and a toothpick. So I have over here in a coffee mug my E6000 glue and I just open it up and give it a little bit of a so there's just a little bit coming out at the top and then I'm going to take my toothpick and grab that and then apply it to the napkin ring alright so I want to get enough coverage for the leaf itself, but not more than what I need. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And so I'm going to grab this end with the clip and the same with the other end so that it bends and holds in place. Now this one has a little bit of glue exposing there. Um, so I want to be careful of that with the clip because I don't want to make the clip permanent. Um, and then once I'm done here, of course, I can then um, go back in and reshape the ring itself. So I just want to give that a good press in there so that it holds in place. And I'm going to do the same with the other three. I want to show you that I have them all glued and clipped in place and I have pushed down on the bottom to make sure that they are all touching and if you can see here what I've done is I've put the leaf over the sealed place on each of these and that's to give it a little bit more um, security um, and keeping it closed and then um, what I will do is is come back maybe you know, in an hour, maybe a half hour, and move the clips just to make sure that they are not glued in place. So I just release them and move them to another spot, make sure that they don't have any glue on them. So um, once they are dry, I will come back and show you the end results. So the napkin rings have had time to dry and I'm just gonna take the clips off of them. And then I will show you what they look like. So here we go. There's the ring, which can be adjusted in size. That's the next one. And this one. And then this one. So they're all uniquely different but they do relate to each other because they are leaves and they have the same coloring. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you if you would do be so kind and um, I would love for you to follow my channel and visit me again. Thanks.